Hey everybody, in this video, I want to show you how to use your formulas or your functions um, throughout multiple sheets of a workbook. So for instance, I'm in that main workbook that we've been looking at, and I'm on the sheet that is titled Region Summary. So it's right before the Grill 501 sheet. Um, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to sum all the food sales from all the grill, uh, different, different grill regions, right? So on grill... Um, one, you know, the sales were around 5 million. Grill two here, my sales were around a um, little less than 2 million. Grill three, we're at around 5 million again, et cetera. So I'd like to sum all these values into this kind of main summary worksheet. And you can do that in different ways, uh, but it's actually pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to start by just typing in whatever function I want to use. So I want to add these all up. So I'm going to use the sum notation here. Now, if I just want to bring in a value from an individual sheet, like just one sheet, I could just click that one sheet on the bottom, let's say um, grill 501, click in the cell that I want to reference there, um, or if I want to reference multiple cells, I can, and then I would just close my parentheses and hit enter, and it will bring in that single value from another sheet or multiple sheets there. Um, and you can see here, this is called a 3D formula or a 3D reference. Um, 2D is when your formulas are on the same sheet as where the data is, which is what we've been doing. They call it 3D, even though it's not three-dimensional, um, when you bring in data from a different sheet. So that's what, what's happening here. And you'll notice that in the formula section here, they're referencing the sheet that we're bringing in the data from. Um, so we're bringing in whatever was in cell B5. Um, we're not really summing anything here, right? But you would be summing up that data from that sheet. And like I said, you can, you know, play around a little bit here. So let's say I wanted to bring in multiple data points. Again, this isn't going to be the right answer, but I could go to that particular sheet. I could still select my cells like I normally would, close it and hit enter, and it would sum those values. Now, what I want to do here is I want to sum, but I don't just want to bring in the values from one worksheet. I want to bring the values from multiple worksheets, and they are all in the same, um, the worksheets are all identically set up, so I can do it pretty quick here without having to select. Um, so you could do something like this. You could go to sheet one, select B5 and then go to sheet two, select B5, um, et cetera, and kind of just go through and just put commas in between and it will sum those individual cells for you. That's a way to do it more manually. Or what you can do, because we know that our data is pretty identical, is I could group those sheets uh, and enter my information that way. So I'm going to start with a sum formula still. And I'm going to go ahead and press the shift key because I want to group the entire um, range of sheets, right? I want to go from one through eight. I hit shift and I select uh, G51 and I'm going to go all the way over until eight. And you'll see that all of those bolded at the bottom. So we're telling Excel, hey, we're going to use all of these sheets. And then just go to the first one or any one is fine and select the cell that you want to sum. So I want to sum the cell B5 on every single sheet here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to be careful here because uh, you can see that my formula did not group those. So I took my finger off the, the button here. Let's try that one more time. So I'm going to go from one through eight. And then I'm going to go ahead and click cell um, B5 there. and go ahead and hit enter. And that is what we just did. So we summed the B5 cell on all of those sheets, sheet grill five one through grill five eight. Okay, so let me just kind of recap that again for you. Um, I'm gonna sum, right? If I wanna do it more manually, I can. So I can literally select each sheet individually and say, okay, I would like to sum this value put a comma in, go to the next sheet. I want to add in food sales from there, comma, next sheet, food sales from here, et cetera. 
So you can click those individually if you like, and you just put a comma in between and then we'll work that way. The other way I did it, because I know that I'm doing the same thing over and over again in each of the sheets, is I created a group. I held down, uh, or I selected uh, five one first. I held down my shift key, went all the way to eight. And then I selected the cell B5. Uh, and that tells Excel to use the cell B5 in every single sheet. And then I hit enter. Okay, so that is a different way that you can do it and they both work great. And again, the grouping of sheets works really well when they're formatted to be identically set up. Otherwise, you probably wanna do it more manually. Now, if you kind of look at your different sheets, you'll see that next under B5 is B6 is beverage sales. And then you go down to food costs and beverage costs, et cetera. And we have the same titles here. So again, this first sheet is formatted identically as well. So what I can do is I can copy this down and it will fill that formula in like we've been doing before. Um, and then I am gonna just select my autofill options here and make sure I fill without formatting. I don't wanna change my formatting at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I have to clean up a little bit. Um, obviously there are rows where there's no data in it. So that formula is giving a zero value there. So I can select these and just kind of clear. Need some extra zeros um, or dashes that we don't need. All right, so that's pretty nice. And if you click on any of these cells here, um, you can reference it. So again, see how they're bringing in that sheet notation here. So they're telling you that we're getting this information from a different sheet, not this one. Um, and then they're telling you what number is being brought in or which cell reference is being brought in. So we're summing all those B34s on those different sheets. Um, so again, this is a really nice, um, just kind of little shortcut here. Um, to going through it and using different cell references as well. Things to be careful of, of course, um, I know I've said this, but if your sheets are not gonna be identically set up, then it can be really tricky to group your sheets together, right? So you probably wanna be a little bit more manual about how you are entering the formulas. Um, and you do wanna be careful that if you edit a sheet later on, you're realizing that it's not going to, or it is going to update here, um, but it may not update how you think it's gonna update. So for instance, if I go into, I don't know, my G501 sheet, for instance, and let's say, you know, a month from now, I decide to add a row underneath sales. Maybe I'm going to create a new category. Well, make sure you remember that now your cell references are off here because you were using B5, but if you're inserting a row, now you should be using B6. So you need to just be careful when you're bringing in data from lots of different sheets, uh, when you make changes after the fact that... Um, you know, your formulas were created before you made those changes. Did they update appropriately or have, or now are they incorrect? So you just want to be really careful um, with that aspect. So for instance, just, you know, to kind of keep going with that for a second, let's say I go to my um, 508 sheet and I had to make a change here. Um, so maybe B5 instead was supposed to be one million three hundred twenty-two thousand one hundred and forty. So you can see all my values updated here, but you'd want to make sure that it also updated appropriately in that original sheet as well. Um, and you can see that it did change here. So if you go back and look at the original numbers, they were a little bit different. Um, so it did change here as well. So again, it's just really verifying when you make changes that they are updating appropriately. Um, again, if I make a really big change, like I was saying, and I add in a new row or something, then that could really mess things up because now my original cell references and my summary sheet um, are not going to be accurate anymore. So just always check your answers. Um, Check your formulas. I always say choose a couple of them along the way and just make sure they still make sense. Um, we all make mistakes. You guys have seen me doing the videos um, 
time and again, right? You click the wrong cell, you click an extra cell by accident or something like that. So it doesn't hurt to, again, as you're doing formulas to just kind of pick a couple out to check along the way and make sure they look like they're copying correctly and they're, um, uh, they're being, they're calculated correctly as well.